Well, what's going on, everybody? Before I start this video, I want to say that as if you haven't seen one my one of my recent videos, I ended up throwing the rare Kellogg's Mass DVD in the garbage because my mom forced me to because it was so scratched up. I didn't want to do it, but I had to. Anyway, yeah. Rest in peace to that rare DVD. But anyways, since my re recent DVD hauls, I have built up my Alliance Atlantis DVD collection and Entertainment One DVDs a little bit. And uh, this video will be going through each one of these. So I'm gonna try to go fast due to space on my phone. Anyways, let's get started. And this is kind of inspired by TGNL as well. So anyways, and if these are not all of them, these are most of them. So anyways, let's get let's begin. These are in the, these are in the year order, by the way. This is from 2001. This is actually a TV movie. It was released by Miramax in the US. And this actually has a lines and lines of television at the end. Before the Asset Digital logo. Yes, it does have the Asset Digital logo. That. And this, and also inspired by TGNL, we're gonna jump up to show the artwork. So here is the artwork. Right there. All right. And we got the two Austin Power ones. You want platinum? These are two and three. You want cinema film? And the day I got my. Uh, in crowd DVD when I did that DVD update was overdue. I actually found the first one from Alliance of Last, but I didn't pick it up because I wanted a snap case CD for the very first time. So sorry I did not pick that one up, but I had to pick up a snap case CD just for just for the promotion. And this is both the Austin Powers are 2002. Here's the other side the artwork. And changes to Viva Film on all these. Okay, we got an Infinifilm one, gold member. The other two Infinifilm DVDs, which are Rush Hour 2 and 13 Days, are not Alliance Alliance prints, so they don't count. And it's got interactual players. Here are the duty on features on this one, by the way. This is also from 2002. It came in a black case, unlike the American version, which the American version was in a blue case. Here is both sides of the DVD guide. Okay. Here is the French artwork. All right, next to our Kill Bills. Miramax this time. And here's the inside. Add for other Queen, Tar Queen Tarantino releases. Here is what the uh, French side looks like. And notice the cover for Reserver Dogs. Reserver Dogs changes. We just did the opening to that before, but never the closing. That wasn't even my DVD. Here is the artwork. This is from 2004, by the way. And because this is a Tau 4D, it's probably one of the first DV Canadian DVDs to have the rating reasons on their rating. Here's volume two. This one's a full one for Blockbuster, you can talk as a BBG. And similarly, this guy shows ads. And once again, the cover for Reservoir Dogs changes. 
There is a B word on the chapter index, by the way. Anyway, here's the French cover. Now we got Monster in Law. This one I got recently in the hall. I know Raffi Movie Club 2001 has the ultra rare VHS. This is from 2005. New Line Platinum. This is Interactual. And I realize I'm not like showing the back of the discs or like this condition scratches like he does, but oh well. And this section looks kind of cool. Expires December 31st, 2005. Here's the reversible artwork. And look at that, it even changes the platinum logo. Okay, that was Monster and Law. And now, I believe we are going to the Alliance Film Zero now. Go. This is a 2007 DVD from Weinstein Company. Michael Moore film. I know, again, Rafi has this. And same with the Kill Bills and I believe Austin awesome Powers. And, uh, uh, yeah, this is Prototype Alliance Films, by the way. Here is the other side artwork. All right. Next we got Never Was from 2008. This is a Miramax film, and unlike the earlier Miramax releases, this one has the proper Alliance Master. This is a former rental for Benito video. I, I did show the back this time. Here is the other side artwork. Oh, I just noticed there's a, actually this sticker back there too. It's kind of weird. All right, that's never was. Next up, Sex and the the movie. Also from 2008. This is co produced with HBO. And TJ now actually has the full screen version of this. Apparently, the AOL Time Warner byline variation of the logo, New Line Warner Team logo, is actually on the full screen version instead of and not, and not the widescreen version. That's kind of a. That makes it even more weirder. And it has this hat inside for a vehicle. Let's show it real quick. Show the Alliance logos in there. Uh, and this does have a Dove commercial, chocolate Dove commercial at the beginning. And, mo and pretty much all of these Alliance DVDs, Alliance Film Zero DVDs, do have affiliate screens at the end. Some of them have, some of them are paired with authoring logos. Here is the French artwork. Okay. Now we're going to the 2009 ones. In card, Raffi Movie. I know Raffi Movie Club 2001 has the blockbuster rental copy. This is also from New Line Cinema. Point of Form of Fabano Veil. Unlike his copy. Not only is not not only is it a full of video, video, it came with this. That's weird. And there's nothing on the back. You want proof? There's your proof. Right. There's your proof on our French artwork. Alright. 
This next one I've had since Christmas of 2014. This is Coraline from 2009 as well, Focus Features. This is actually a reprint though. You, you wanna know why? Boom, Entertainment One. And it is a little bit scratched up, but it still works. Here's the French artwork. I gotta. There we go. And usually, and I didn't do a jump cut because you know the old DVDs I've had are most likely the easier ones to take out, if you know what I mean, because they're like old used. All right, here's now we're back to these ones, the newly got ones. I have watched this movie on AZ Spark. And I've recorded on YTV before. It looks interesting. It's got the E1 sticker. And this is a 2090, so it's probably one of the very last Alliance Films DVDs to have the Alliance logo on the front cover. And, oh, view film on the spine there. And they actually show the New Line Cinema logo on the back instead of New Line Home Entertainment on this one. However, it still has the New Line Cinema logo at the beginning. disc and this actually has a universal pr preview for bring it on which is weird not even focus features straight up universal which is weird here is the french artwork all right next one actually has a french cover I thought I did, I remember there was a copy without the Alliance DVD logo. Since this is a 2010 DVD, we're now to the 2010 DVDs. It's probably one of the very last DVDs to have that. Alliance View Film. G Canada. This is a TriStar Film as well. But what's even more weirder, there is no reversible artwork. This is still the official DVD. And if you notice, it actually has the old DVD video logo right there, and two numbers as well. That DVD logo was used on like the last DVDs from like the late 90s to 2001. And this has not the only bag as well. I did the opening and closing for that one. Alright, we got nine from a Focus Future Spotlight series. And don't be confused, TGNL, you're in a DVD of 9, which is spelled the word 9, which is by one side company. Mine's number 9, but the number 9 film is actually by Focus Features. Interesting how they're both from Alliance. 2010. Alright, disc. Now this disc is really dirty. Are you ready to see what the back looks like? Ready? Yeah. Pretty freaking here. Pretty freaking strapped up. And here's the other side. Artwork here. These next two are DVDs I've had for a while back. This is actually 2010 reprint. I got this DVD at Walmart back in 27 January 2017. Here my And this is actually a double reprint. Alliance on the artwork, E1 on the disc, but when you pop it in. It still has the original 2004 American Master. So yeah. And here is the other side artwork. 